This video describes how I made a steel box tied in ribbon. This is a project using a TIG and plasma cutter. It is not about welding, as you can see from the finished product. It's just about having fun with a tool I have only recently been acquainted with. The first step is to cut out the base. This is what I'll use as my size guide for the rest of the project. As I don't have a steady hand, I'm building a template out of wood that I can use as a guide for the plasma cutter. This holds the torch just off the steel. And it means I can get a relatively smooth oval. As you can see, it cuts it out pretty well and it hardly burns the timber at all. To measure how much steel I need for the wall to go around the base, I just ran a string around it. Then again, just using a piece of timber as a straight edge guide, I can cut out the pieces of steel that I need. The plasma cutter certainly makes life easy when cutting out steel. Now if I tack the side to the base, I can continually just put another tack and bend and another tack and bend to get the shape perfect. I made the sheet for the wall just a little bit longer and then when I get, got around to the other side just cut it off exact. So now it's a simple matter of going around and welding the whole of the base using a little bit of filler rod as I go. And here's the base finished. Notice the handy little third hand that I've built as well. It's a useful little tool. Next I welded the ribbon pieces on the sides. And now for the top. Notice I've got the top ribbon pieces fitting flush with the bottom ribbon pieces. This is because I wanted a close fitting lid. And so the lid sides are put in sections, just going from one ribbon piece to another ribbon piece. With the flat parts of the ribbon done, it's time to do the bows. Four straight pieces will do that, and then just curl them up and weld them in the centre. Then finally, just one bow has the handle. After a light buff on the wire wheel and a coat of clear lacquer, the box is finished. And I'm using it to put all my TIG and plasma cutter bits in. As you can see, I'm a very poor welder. I could have used an angle grinder to clean up all the welds, but I decided to leave it as is to remind myself how bad I am. This will give me something to compare to as my skills hopefully improve. Anyway, this is about fun, not perfection, and I'm only doing it for myself. So there's the finished product, a fun little project and a bit more experience gained.